It's a march in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. Don't Shoot Portland hosted its ninth annual Reclaim the Dream March for Human Rights and Dignity. Our Brian Clerkley was at Peninsula Park where the march started. And Brian, the group shared an important message about this holiday. Yes, they did, Laurel. Don't Shoot Portland is an arts and education organization that promotes social justice and civic participation. Hundreds of people gathered in Peninsula Park to carry on Dr. Martin Luther King's legacy by marching for peace and equality down Martin Luther King, down Martin Luther King Boulevard and throughout North and Northeast Portland. No justice! No peace! No justice! Marching for a purpose, Don't Shoot Portland, the Portland Association of Teachers, Volunteers, Community Members, and Students all came together on Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday to promote peace, equality, and unity. The event started with speeches at Peninsula Park. Ty Carpenter is the board president for Don't Shoot Portland, which promotes justice and civic action and social change. This is the ninth annual Reclaim the Dream March. She says today is all about MLK's legacy. It means, you know, perseverance. It means being hopeful. It means, you know, trying to spread your love and light to others, educating others, unlearning. Uh, harmful behaviors yourself. Carpenter says leading with love is something MLK did, and that's the way she's leading this march through North and Northeast Portland. Her mother, Teresa Rayford, started Don't Shoot Portland after her nephew died from gun violence in 2010. The work that Dr. King did in his lifetime, the values that he embedded in my generation, I wanted to utilize not only my lived experience, but what I've learned from him in order to activate my community against violence. This community of marchers is diverse, something volunteers say Dr. King would be proud of. The event was filled with artwork that supports the black community and free t-shirts that say Black Lives Matter. Matt Stevenson is a senior at Cleveland High School. He came to stand with the black community and combat white supremacy. This problem still exists and it's still having incredibly harmful effects on all from people in Portland. Um, and I think it's important to keep on like building community and solidarity around this issue. Susan Anglada Bartley is a teacher with Portland Public Schools. She marched with the crowd through North and Northeast Portland. She says there's a lot of inspiration that comes from marching next to people fighting for peace and equality. It's something she brings to the classroom every day. No human being is better than any other human being and that we do need to look for that humanity in one another. And so again, I'm trying to bring that every day into my teaching.